This is the third time federal and state police have raided one of Tony Alamo's Christian Ministries compounds. The FBI says this latest operation in southwest Arkansas follows a two-year investigation into possible child pornography. The state investigation is aimed at allegations that children living at the Alamo facilities may have been sexually and physically abused. Authorities have not disclosed how many children live in the compound. Owner and minister Tony Alamo denies any wrongdoing. CNN reached him by phone in Los Angeles, California. Why did they make up allegations against Jesus and nail him to the cross? They will not find any pornography there. There is none. There never was any. And there's uh, child abuse or child pornography or anything like that. They're barking up the wrong tree this time. Alamo has not been charged, but one U.S. attorney told the Associated Press he expects a warrant to be issued for Alamo in the coming days. The arrest wouldn't be the first for the religious leader. Alamo's group has faced lawsuits and government actions in the past, both in Arkansas and California, and he's no stranger to controversy. It's not very rare to come out of any a baseball game or whatever and find Alamo uh, literature on your car. Now, as to his popularity, there are quite a few people around here with whom he isn't so popular. Um, you know, the people who live on his compound and I suppose the people who attend his church, he is. But around here, he is an extremely controversial figure. Some critics regard his ministry as a cult. I believe in, their, in my heart that the compound in Texas that was raided is no worse than this compound here. It remains to be seen what law enforcement officials found inside the compound or what fate awaits the children who call the property home.